Hey there, this is Dane from Featherprop.com. Thanks for tuning in today. A few months ago, I did a video on the Zolio Satellite Communicator, which is a small device that allows one to send and receive text messages via the Iridium Satellite Network when cell phone coverage is not an option. I used this device when I had backpacked to the Dolly Sods last fall, and it really performed well. It allowed me to send and receive messages with my wife and friends back home, even though there was no cell phone coverage in that area. Now, I had mentioned in that video that I was planning on going out of the country and was anxious to try it abroad. This February, I went with a team on a mission trip to Costa Rica to help a congregation there rebuild its church after an earthquake. I took the Zulio and was anxious to try it out in the back in Costa Rica. Now, although it worked, I learned something very important about the communicator that I didn't know. Something that I think you should probably know yourself if you're thinking of buying one of these. Now, one of the selling features of the Zolio that stood out for me was its ability to send and receive text messages via the cellular network whenever available. And those messages do not count toward the messaging plan that you choose. For instance, if you choose the in touch plan, then you get 250 messages. However, if you're near a cell phone tower and the message is sent via the cellular network, then that message does not count towards your total plan. Now, I thought this was a really cool feature and was one of the reasons why I ultimately bought the Zulio. However, I learned something very important about that feature that I feel was not clearly addressed anywhere in the Zolio user guide. Now, when you hear this, you may say, well, duh, but I figured if I had misunderstood it, then others might as well. Let me explain. Before I left for Costa Rica, I uh, activated my Zolio with the basic $20 plan, which provides only 25 messages. The reason I did this is because I knew that Costa Rica had pretty reliable cell phone coverage throughout the country. So I figured I'd just pay the basic plan and then rely on the cellular network to send and receive messages. The problem, however, started as soon as I stepped off the plane. I sent a check-in message to my check-in contacts, letting them know that I was okay. When I looked down at the Zulio app, I noticed that it had used the satellite network and not the cellular network, even though I was in an area that was very well covered. Since I had four check-in contacts, I just spent four of the allotted 25 messages that I had paid for. Now, this was confusing to me, and I eventually had to reach out to Zolio customer support for help. They replied to my email within 24 hours and was able to explain the problem. The issue was that Zolio advertises it will send messages via cellular whenever available. But it doesn't clearly tell you that you have to have a cellular plan with that particular network to do so. You see, when I left for Costa Rica, I had not paid for a roaming or out-of-country plan for my phone because I had planned on just using the Zulio to communicate. You can't do that. The device itself will only communicate with satellites, not the cell phone towers. Now, I did some more research when I got back, and frankly, I wasn't able to find that spelled out clearly anywhere. Once again, this device only communicates with satellites or with a phone that has an active cellular plan. It does not by itself communicate with Wi-Fi signals or cell phone towers. Therefore, if the phone that it's synced to does not have a Wi-Fi signal or active plan with the local cellular network, then the device will only function with the satellite network. So if you're planning a trip out of the country, and you're taking the Zolio with you, just know that you will have to have an active roaming plan on your phone or Wi-Fi if you want to communicate from the Zolio app. Otherwise, you will be sending and receiving messages via satellite and those messages counting towards your message plan. Now, this isn't a deal breaker for me, but it is disappointing. In my opinion, the Zolio is a little less useful than what I was expecting it to be. You can send and receive messages on the Zulio app via Wi-Fi and cellular if your plan is properly connected to those two signals. However, if your phone has Wi-Fi or a cell phone signal, then you can just use your regular messaging app to communicate and you wouldn't need the Zulio at all. 
Where the Zulio shines is whenever you're out back and you have no Wi-Fi and no cell signal and you want to communicate. In that instance, as long as you have a clear view of the sky, you should be able to send and receive messages. Now, as a result of this mis misunderstanding, I had ended up uh, sending three messages over my allotted 25, which they billed me for at 50 cents a message. Now, Zolio did notify me when I had used about half of my 25 messages. They told me that I could uh, upgrade and get 20 more messages for $8 or 75 for 15, but I decided I didn't need the top up bundle and so I just paid the extra $1.50. So in my opinion, the Zulio really doesn't provide much benefit if you're traveling in an area where you have Wi-Fi or a cell phone plan in place. You would just communicate as normal. On the other hand, if you're in an area where cell phone signal is very weak or sporadic or not at all, then you may want to send messages on the app and let it decide how to get the message out. Also, I did learn one cool thing about the Zulio, and that is that it actually worked for sending a message while flying at 31,000 feet. I held the Zulio up to the window and it was able to get a satellite signal and get a message out, which is pretty cool. So I just wanted to share my experiences with the Zulio. If you're thinking about traveling abroad with it and you don't want to exclusively rely on the satellite network, then you're going to have to make sure you have a paid cell phone plan on that local network or at least jump from Wi-Fi signal to Wi-Fi signal. Well, I hope that this was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have the Zolio or some other kind of satellite communicator. Let me know what you think of it and how it's performing for you. And I hope to see you here next time.